the first edition in English of Pliny's Natural History, translated by Philemon Holland. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this really very attractive copy of a major translation. It's in two volumes, and really I, I perhaps should start by showing you these bindings, which are, are, are very handsome indeed. They are a red Morocco, or a, uh, they would have been called red turkey um, back in the 17th century, early 17th century, because that's where um, most leather for book binding of this quality was sourced for the English market. It's goatskin, basically. We call it later Morocco, but at this period it would be called Turkey. And it's decorated in... Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly standard style, but it is a standard deluxe style, if you will, of these uh, gilt frames with these nice pieces at the corner, little decorative... Um, pieces outlining the frame, and then the spines are fully gilt, very attractive leaf sprays and other tools in the compartments, a pair of black or, or greenish uh, Morocco lettering pieces, just, just very elegant, a, a very smart a binding for an English book of this period. You would typically encounter this book in, in the collector's market in English calf, just brown calf, and really virtually always rebacked. Um, leather um, calf does not last um, as well as goatskin does. And so this goatskin binding, although it's taken a little bit of uh, wear at the extremities over the centuries, is uh, still very handsome, very attractive. The book itself is uh, a central uh, translation. It's, um, people often talk about these books published at this time. Um, this is printed in uh, 1601 by Adam Islip, who's involved with uh, quite a lot of uh, Shakespeare's. This is the second volume I'm showing you here, but the, the first volume is uh, the same as I'll show you in a minute. There's a couple of initials there, just as an ownership description, they're not part of the book. And Pliny, uh, in this translation, this is, uh, Pliny was well known, of course, to the medieval world, but uh, this is the first translation into English, and there wasn't to be another translation of it for 250 years. I always like, uh, I think Pliny's uh, work is, he's one of the most appealing um, historians that there ever was, really. He collected most of his knowledge, of course, out of books, rather than uh, uh, anywhere else. He thought there was no book so bad that there wasn't something worth stealing from it. Um, and uh, he died um, observing the explosion, of the eruption of Vesuvius at rather too close quarters. So he's always struck me as an ideal combination of a, of a sort of a, a book lover and a, a natural scientist. And this is a, a very well-known translation. It had an influence on Shakespeare's Othello, but in general it had an influence on uh, the Elizabethan era and, uh, and consequently literature afterwards. So a very attractive copy of a major work of classical literature in English translation. So for more details on this and for others, please see the Peter Harrington website.